patterns in our surroundings. Mummy, Diwali is approaching. So I have to decorate the yards and take them to school. Yes, I will teach you. Can you come with me to the market? Yes, let's go. Brother, show me a good border or lace which can be stitched to the sari. These are the options available. You can pick any pattern that you like from these options. Mummy, what is a pattern? When any object or shapes are placed in a particular order and repeated again and again, it is called a pattern. Look, this lace has pattern made of peacocks. Oh yes! Here the peacock motif has been repeated again and again. Rightly said, Vinnie. Mummy, I want to know more about patterns. Okay, Vinnie. So today, let's observe the patterns we see in our surroundings. Look, Vinnie. All the clothes here have some pattern on them. Oh yes! In all these clothes, some shapes or designs have been repeated again and again. Rightly said Winnie, brother, we like this patterned lace. Please use this one on my sari. Okay, you can collect your sari tomorrow. Thank you, brother. Winnie, let us go. Yes, let's go. Winnie, look at this wall. This wall has a pattern made of bricks. Oh, yes! Now look, this zebra crossing has a pattern of black and white stripes. Yes, this pattern has black, white, black, white lines. Both black and white color lines have been used repeatedly. Now look. At the roof of this ice cream shop. Does it have a pattern? Yes, here two different color stripes have been used to make a pattern. And the ice cream cone also has a pattern. Yes, Winnie, we talked all the way and reached home so soon. Hey, the door of a house also has a pattern. Rightly said, Winnie. The strips here have a pattern of big to small, small to big, initially big to small and then small to big strips have been used. Mummy, our tablecloth also has a pattern. Did you notice? Winnie, what is the pattern of this cloth? It has three flowers, then two flowers, then again three flowers, two flowers, Three flowers, two flowers, it gets repeated and that's how this pattern is created. Well done, Winnie. Very good. Now, can you tell which of the fruits on the table have a pattern? Mm, there is a pattern in custard apple and pineapple. Winnie, please turn on the TV. Hey, mummy. Is there a pattern on this building as well? Yes, this building is the Hawa Mahal at Jaipur in Rajasthan. And this? This is the Taj Hotel in Mumbai. Mummy, these pattern on these buildings make them look so beautiful, isn't it? Hey, beautiful reminds me of decorating the diyas beautifully. I have to take them to school tomorrow. Let me help you. Look, there are some similar patterns on this diya as well. Yes, but how we will make it look beautiful? By placing these big and small stones on the diyas. 
How? We will use different colored, small and big stones alternately on the diya to make a pattern. Doing so, now we have a beautiful pattern on the diya. Yes, mummy. Now this diya is looking very beautiful. Vinny, now do your homework. Then we will make patterns using various objects. Okay, mummy. Friends, today we understood patterns in our surroundings. In the next video, we will learn to make patterns with various objects in our surroundings. Mummy, I have completed my homework. Vinny, we will decorate our house very nicely this Dipavali. Yes, Mummy, but how? Today, we will learn to make patterns with various objects in our surroundings. Vinny, we will use nice patterns and decide how to decorate our house. Decorate using patterns? Yes, for the puja we will make garlands out of red and yellow flowers. To make the garland, two yellow flowers, one red flower, then two yellow flowers, one red flower, we will use this pattern to make the garland. Mummy. The pattern you created is beautiful, but I will use the red and yellow flowers to make a different pattern. Okay, so tell me, which pattern are you going to use to make your garland? To make my garland, I will use one yellow flower, three red flowers, then again one yellow, three red flowers. I will use this pattern for my garland. Wow! Well done, Vinny. Your garland is looking very pretty with the pattern. Mummy, what else are we going to do for the Dipavali decorations at our home? We will decorate the courtyard of our house with diyas. Mummy, we will place three three diyas in a row. And make a pattern like this with the diyas. Vinny, just placing objects in a row will not mean that you have made a pattern. This is not how it works. What does that mean? Is there any other way of making patterns? Yes, Vinny. Look at our courtyard. We will place one diya, then two diyas above it. One, two, three diyas above them and one, two, three, four diyas above them and make a pattern. Hmm. As per this pattern, we increase one diya every time we move up a row. Right? Yes, Vinny. Mummy. Can we make a pattern by decreasing one diya every time we move up a row? Yes, Vinny. For that, we will at first place four diyas this way. Then one, two, three diyas above them. Then two diyas and in the final row, we place one diya to finish the pattern. Great! Mummy? These two patterns are looking so good together. Yes, Vinny. Look, this is an increasing pattern moving upwards. And this one is in a decreasing pattern as we go up. Yes, this pattern moving upwards has 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here we have increased one dia as we move upwards. And the decreasing pattern has 4, 3, 2, 1, 
we have reduced one dia each time we move upwards. Mummy, how we will make the rangoli? Vinny, this Dipavali we will make a rangoli pattern with flowers. How? Come, let me teach you. First, we will draw a circle like this. On the circle, we will place one red flower and one yellow flower like this. Vinny, can you tell me what we will be doing next? We will repeat the flower pattern. Well done, Vinny. After we have completed the pattern, we will make a dia like this. Now, what are we going to do? We will complete the dia pattern inside the circle. Well done. Now we will place a red flower in the center of the rangoli. Mummy, now I have learned making patterns very well. Yes, now you can very well make patterns on tiyas, patterns on garlands, patterns to decorate the courtyard with tiyas, and rangoli pattern. Isn't it? Yes, Mummy. I will teach these patterns to my friends in school too. Mummy, this Deepavali we will burst many crackers. Yes, Vinny. Do you know that firecrackers also have a pattern? Oh yes, that is why these crackers all look so beautiful. <laughs> yes, so friends, today we learn to make patterns with various objects in our surroundings. In the next video, we will learn to make patterns out of shapes.